Welcome to Venice. This is our room. It's so messy right now. We're at the I Cherubini. We're about to go get breakfast and yeah, I can't believe we're here. Casual power outage. Can I still get my finger? Sorry, right, I'm from Florida. There's <laughs> power going out. Yeah. Doing some light shopping. Apparently, this is incredible. And Kate's wearing it, it looks so good. So I'm about to cop it. <gasps> That's stunning. What is it, Chanel? Yes. It's like, it's oh, like you have it walls. on? Yeah. I want to buy that. It's, no, it looks awesome. Lock. All right, we'll get one. I think I'm going to get it too. Okay. <laughs> These guys. This one? Okay. Yes. Okay. See. Yes. 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 I love your glasses. Oh, thank you. It's not sticky either. No, it's honestly stunning. Sold out. Otherwise, instead of the scanner, something else. No, that's okay. No, that's okay. Thank okay. you for checking. Do this before you leave. Enjoy. Thanks. That's it. Thanks. 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 I already right. forgot. Everybody. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Cheers, yeah. We're just at the cutest rooftop bar. Oh, it's hot. Oh, yeah. Uh, Do we know why it's called a sardine? Puppy? Loving it. Like that. The one that he gave us was travertine. This is Grandma and Yay. Yeah. Gelato. Mm. Slay. And of course we got espresso. Can you tell people to act natural and they're like... Like, uh, <laughs> my grandfather? My grandpa? <laughs> uh, a long time ago. She's giving Claudia $130. We gotta go so back. Sweet. Well, please like have more for me. We need all that. Not me being in Italy, bitch. We are here. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, so you know we got in at 10 p.m. last night. So this is our first time seeing the gorgeous, stunning views of Venezia during the day. It's so freaking gorgeous here. I am so happy that we decided to start our Italy travels here because it's just oh giving God. me everything I need. Like the beautiful architecture, everything is so old. Just all of Italy is so rich in history and it's so freaking cool to me. Like our country is only like 200 something years old. This church alone is 489 years old. So yeah, it's pretty freaking sick to me. Also, the architecture, Sure, the attention to detail stunning naturally we had into a bar afterwards we also went to a little rooftop bar we had some giggles i was just live laugh loving at this point so i didn't take that many videos after this but you'll have to see the vlog on youtube anyways if you're wondering who this mystery man is it is my husband i just never post him so every time i do post him it feels like a hard launch i had the best pizza of my life i'm sure that comes as no shock and somehow even halfway across the world i will still find myself at a dive bar anyways follow for more because tomorrow we go to florence Okay, we're officially in Florence. Yesterday, we did all the things. We went to tons of restaurants, walked around, as you guys saw, and it was a vibe. Honestly, Venice is super, super sick. I love how we like started our trip there. It was just a vibe. Anyways, as you guys saw, we took a train over here, which was a very cool experience. I don't know why the US can't get their shit together when it comes to safe public transportation. But anyways, yeah, the train was awesome. Super smooth sailing, very chill travel day. Let me put you down. Yeah. Um, we have not been hungover once and we've been pounding wine and you guys know I don't even drink that much because hangovers fuck with my mental health so bad Dude, the people were not lying like everybody who tells you like oh, yeah You can drink as much wine as you want and you don't feel like shit like Mason and I got 
two hours and 45 minutes of sleep last night. We were like out till 2 a.m. Went to sleep, took a nap, woke up, got ready for our travel day and like we weren't hungover. We were tired as fuck, but like we weren't hungover. We're staying at the Villa Neroli. It's pretty centrally located. It's like a little bit, probably like a 10-ish minute drive into like the busier area. It's so stunning here. Look at the view out my window right now. Like this is our hotel. Are you joking? I love seeing the little rooftops like it reminds me of Under the Tuscan Sun, which is like one of my favorite movies. Anyways, today we're probably just going to... <laughs> today we're probably just uh, going to take it easy since we did have like such a crazy travel day getting to Venice. And then we really only had like one full day in Venice. Then we just got on a train and got to Florence. So it's been like very go, go, go. We haven't really had a lot of time to like stop and chill. We also haven't really eaten any amazing food, which is kind of sad. Well, actually, no, I take Dinner it back. Last Dinner last night was fantastic. Oh, slippers. Love that. There's two of them. Oh, let me see them. Well, they're not for you. Let me see them. Complimenting your slippers, slay. So I think we're just gonna lay low tonight. <laughs> <laughs> exactly sure. Look at these complimentary slippers, please. <laughs> Thank you. That's, You're a child. That's funny. You're a child. My one regret about my trip to Italy is that I didn't stay in Florence longer. Actually, this is us leaving Venice. We're not in Florence yet, but this is me slaying on public transport. I had a little self-care moment, and now we're at our hotel. Absolutely loved it. Amazing. The Villa Neroli. Highly recommend. Anyways, this is the next day. We are now at the Four Seasons Florence, bitch. I did a whole separate vlog for this. Don't you worry. I'm coming with the tea. We did freshen up a little bit because we got facials, so you know, we just had to, we had to look a little bit more put together if we were going to be frolicking around the Four Seasons. Anyways, back to the streets we go. We got an espresso. We're walking around. Florence is a fucking vibe and then we just happened to come across this gorgeous cathedral apparently it's a must see in florence like it was so stunning like we were jaw dropped you just can't get that back in the states you know what i'm saying anyways almost got that Mew Mew bag i'm kind of glad i didn't we went to the uffizi gallery this is crazy guys the amount of art here that is just so historical i'm i'm floored i can't believe i can say i've seen botticelli's paintings now like what the fuck that evening we ended up at an unmarked little cocktail bar that i definitely was not supposed to be filming at i will say i did have the best cocktail of my entire life and i naturally ended the night with some pistachio gelato and that's what Listen, if I am going to the Florence Four Seasons, then we are all going to the Florence Four Seasons. My friend Kate got us facials for my birthday, and we were so freaking geeked when the Four Seasons called her back and decided that we were just going to go with it, because why not? Why not go to the Florence Four Seasons when you get the opportunity, you know? Anyways, the facial was divine. I got the natural mineral facial. It was amazing for multiple reasons, but honestly, I was so jet-lagged at this point. It literally revived it's me. It's amazing what a facial in a beautiful hotel can do to you. Anyways, this is the little waiting room that they set you in. You can hang out here as long as you want to. I was honestly just taking my time looking at the pool. The pool pool is even gorgeous. Every corner of this hotel is absolutely immaculate, stunning, gorgeous, flawless. I was taking so many photos for inspo and also for my Instagram feed, like, hello. No, but seriously, these are, like, my home decor Pinterest goals, and this is just the bar area. This is just the bar area. Like, girl, there is a villa for everything. Our spa was in a different villa. That's the gym. That's another villa. Law villa. That's a whole other section of the grounds that people can stay in. Like, this place is just massive. I literally felt like I just stepped into Genovia, like I was Princess Thermopolis. It's such a vibe. Anyways, bet your ass next time I'm in Florence, I will be staying here, and I'm bringing you with me. I feel like I've not talked to you. Okay, I have to show you this freaking Airbnb that we got in Naples. We just got to Naples, by the way. We came over on a train from Florence. Kate and I booked all of the hotels and stuff for this trip. So like, obviously we knew where we were staying, but like this place is way doper than we expected. You guys absolutely have to stay here if you're gonna be in Naples and I will give you a full tour. So let's go. First of all, this is how you walk in. Um, what? And here you can see kind of what the complex looks like. And we are like right off of like a super busy strip. So like right when you come out of here, there's just like a really crazy busy road with like shops and stuff. So it seems like we're pretty centrally located. We are only like 10 minutes away from the train. Here's the piano room. Literally so sick, like what? There's so much to look at. Like my camera lens isn't big enough to capture everything. It's really a unique place. Honestly, like what? Whatever's up there, gotta figure that out. This is where we're staying. The rooms are huge. Also, sorry if I sound congested. I forgot to take my allergy meds two days in a row. And uh, yeah, this is what I'm dealing with. Awesome. Anyways, kitchen is straight ahead. So here's the kitchen. This is our bathroom. 
cannot wait to film and get ready with me here. Well, if I even have time, if we're even getting ready today, I honestly don't know. Dude, the chocolate cupcakes. I'm about to get into these. Is this what he meant when he said wine? Is this wine? Probably. There's so much stuff here. that well, he And he said the whole place is yours. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably all ours. Okay, this is the movie room. Like, guys, hold on. I didn't do that appropriately. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Okay. This is the movie room. And then that's their room in there, which is pretty fucking sick. So there's a big room for them. And then there's a door that opens up into another bedroom. And there's like three beds in there. There's also a sauna in this room. There's a terrace. And there's like stairs that lead up to like a little loft area in the extra bedroom, which is crazy. Thank you. Woohoo. Cheers. Cheers, Vivi. Honestly, I'm not going to put on any makeup. It's freaking 100. No, no. I wanted to film like a cool video. I love video. that on you. What? That squirt. Thank you. It's very comfortable. Also, the New Balance have been key here. Oh. All the cute outfits I packed, haven't worn a single one. We very much overpacked, and that is my one regret. But, you know what? I feel like I just had to come experience it to figure it out. But, I'm here to tell you now. If you were coming to Italy, and you were like me, just pack less. Pack light. You can buy shit here. And it's not nearly as expensive as I thought it would be. We'll go out to dinner and get Bottles of wine, everybody gets an entree, we get an appetizer, or maybe a dessert, and it's like, what, 70 bucks, 80 bucks? Some places it's like 100. It's like 100 bucks but for four people. Yeah, now we're just kind of hanging out in the house, like taking it all in, and then we're about to head out and get pizza, because apparently Naples has the best pizza in the world. And we got a great recommendation from our taxi driver to the best pizza in. in yeah, and he said it's within walking distance, right? Yeah. Oh, and also, look at my little Four Seasons hat. <laughs> Goes to four seasons once. Anyways, missed you guys. Sorry I've been talking so much. Like I said, just trying to be trying to be present. But we're gonna get ready, go to pizza. I'll probably give you guys some more phone clips because this is not gonna fit in the bag that I'm bringing. And I love you. Welcome to Naples. Florence, but it is time for this girly pop to get her ass over to Naples. This will officially be the third stop on our Italy trip so far, and I literally can't believe that we are just like going through this country. Like, what is good? The public transportation slay again. Honestly, I just, I'm a big train girly. Big train girly. 10 out of 10. Like, the way you can just go up and down this country via train, it's crazy to me. If the US could get their shit together when it came to safe public transportation, I'd be very happy. Anyway, TED Talk over. However, speaking of transportation, our taxi driver was driving like a maniac. Literally, everyone here drives like a rally car driver. I don't know what the rush is. I don't know where the fire is literally all the streets are like cobblestone there's people walking around and we're like about to hit them it's so chaotic so chaotic not good for the old anxiety anyways this is the place that we're staying in naples can you believe this it is a whole apartment and honestly the guy was like was it not clear that like this whole place was yours when you booked it on booking.com and i was like honestly sir it just seemed too good to be true this place is like a goddamn museum there was like gorgeous decor everywhere i could go on and on and on but you guys need to stay there anyways this is the restaurant that we went to it was recommended by our crazy rally car taxi driver and it was a 10 out of 10 we got a five course vegetarian meal it was such a slay we had a sommelier also i'm so sad i have no videos to document this but i have two photos to prove that i was at an italian wedding they just invited us in apparently her brother owns the whole complex and he was our host good morning boy i look so shut up right now we were out a little late this is so fun. There was like a wedding on the roof of this building last night. They just like invited us in for a drink. We just popped in and he was like, no, 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 no. You have to have a drink. I'm wearing my Four Seasons hat. You guys saw what it was wearing yesterday. 
I was wearing jorts. These are jorts. These people were like dripping in Chanel sequin feathers. Like everyone looked so beautiful. And he was like, no, 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 you have to come in. My name's Marco. This is my wedding. And he literally just popped a bottle of Don Perignon and gave us a glass. So that was cool. Nothing much to report after that, though. We just kind of came back here. But yeah, that was our uh, experience of Naples. Very short, very fast. Also, Mason and I refuse to touch this thing. Please look. Please look at his face. Like, it told me this isn't the most sus. He's like holding something, right? He's like holding a something. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there, but it's giving me weird vibes. That's the thing you touch on a horror movie and you become possessed. We're just gonna let him chill. Last night I was like, please protect our room <laughs> and I will not bother you. You just stay exactly where you are. What you doing there? <laughs> a better angle. Oh, yeah, no, he looks angry. He's like holding something. He's like, got something going on. Also, we got little scratch-offs, but we didn't win anything. <laughs> I haven't won anything on the scratch-off like the last three times I did it, but remember when I was winning like back-to-back? -back? Yeah, you always were winning. Oh, I never win, so. Oh, so you're my bad luck charm? No, it's you always win. Maybe we should have had that guy with us. Anyways, today we're getting a taxi to the airport, we're getting a rental car, and we are driving to Sorrento. Oh my god, I look dead right now. I look literally beat up. <laughs> I look like somebody drop kicked me across the Grand Canyon. Also, somebody came and like dropped off snacks for us this morning. Well, they also left it out in the, in the room temperature, which freaks me out. No, but that wasn't out there earlier, so. It must have sure? been very recent, yeah. Yeah. Somebody came in here and we didn't even notice. Well, you can't hear barely anything, honestly. I'm just saying, like, I was moving around for you. Uh, yeah, look. He said that there would be stuff like this in the morning around 10, but we were leaving so early, so I didn't know that it was actually going to be here. Obviously, I don't need this, but there's bread in here. And I'm eating that. Mm. Okay, I'm just eating bread and cheese right now. Gotta admit, waking up on the coast of Italy does not suck. Welcome to Sorrento, girlies. We have two days of this, so don't you worry. I got another vlog coming before we wrap up the Italy series. I can't believe we're almost done. Anyways, guys, everywhere you look in this beautiful town on the coast, it just looks like it's straight out of a Pinterest board. Like, I'm not joking. I think I have multiple areas literally on my Pinterest board that I was seeing in real life, and I was just, like, gawking. Okay, slow mostly. That was total accident. But this restaurant's special, so I'm kind of glad it happened. The owners of this place, these two, these two, they were so kind. Their brother, sister, their parents owned this place before that and they just like picked up where they left off. My sister gave us this Mother Mary charm and she said, you guys are just such a great group of kids. I can tell you're on the right path. I feel good vibes from you. I want you to have this charm so that the mother will bless you and bring you luck. And then she gave us a free bottle of cuvee. Like what is happening? We did not leave without giving that woman the biggest hug ever. Anyways, we ended up at a pub. We had to just switch up the vibes. We're kind of getting a little Italianed out. I'm not gonna lie, okay? Our American asses. Also, my girlfriend just disappears across the street. My friend Kate, she comes back, brings me this little, this little charm bracelet. It's so cute. It's got my husband's initial on it. I'm obsessed also had to get some more gelato of course i had to have at least one of those a day insert most beautiful sunset i've probably ever seen and then like i said we were italian out so we got some sushi we got some sushi in italy and i don't want to fucking hear it okay it was so delicious and it was so needed and we just ordered off of this little ipad please look at how easy this is it's just right there it's all you can eat buffet and you can just keep ordering more and that's exactly what we did ended the night with some light beverages make sure you follow for the last day <laughs> good morning 
It is our last day in Sorrento. Last day in Italy, honestly. I'm very intrigued to see what this vlog is gonna look like because I've just been really present and not bringing out my camera. There's just so much walking to do here and it doesn't make sense to bring like a big ass bag with heavy items in it. Hopefully you guys don't care. We were gonna try to rent a boat to go to Capri today, but it's honestly just like raining and overcast, which is fine because like I said, it's our last day and we kind of need to lay low. Tomorrow we have a super early taxi and like a one to two hour our drive to the airport. This trip has been such a fucking blast. Last night was probably my favorite. Sorrento is just a vibe. Like the coast here is as stunning as they say. Sorrento is really fun. Like it's busy, but it's also like slow. I just feel like being by the water, like everyone is just kind of like more low key. You know what I mean? Anyways, my energy levels are super low as you can tell, but we're gonna rally today because it is the last day after all. The plan for today is to just have a good old time in Sorrento. We're staying about a I don't know, I wanna say maybe like a 20 minute drive, but it's crazy because I think we're technically like a mile and a half away, but driving takes so long because of all the little wines and dips and things. Yeah, where we're staying is just like in this really, really cute little town called Masa Lubrense. Masa Lubrense? probably butchering that. It's definitely giving like a locals only vibe. The people who own this Airbnb actually live on the lower level of this place, but the host downstairs has been so helpful when it comes to like ordering taxis, any questions that we have. And I feel like that's just so helpful when you're in a different country. That's been amazing, but I'm not gonna lie and say that I'm not dreaming of taking an everything shower, hugging my dogs, and getting my life back together back home. That's enough chit chat. Uh, I will see you in a little for our last day in Sorrento. Oh, interesting. Okay, ready, ready. That's it. Yeah. It's perfect. Thank you. Here we go. Second gelato of the day. Pistachio is really good. Lime and basil? What? And then could I also have two espressos after that? Grazie. Grazie. Uh, uh, Amarillo. Amarillo. Okay. Did I? Maybe how do jelly dough? You gotta eat fast. Yeah. Size is the most important. <laughs> After a long day of doing nothing but eating. <laughs> we're, we're, we're like 100 stuff. <laughs> Not even. No, we're back to eating. It's an I love it here. I love it. <laughs> this time tomorrow, I will be on a flight back to the good old state of Florida. But right now, I'm in Sorrento, Italy, and I will be living it up until we leave, baby girl. Also, please tell me why. Please tell me why Mason and I are matching. Like, bar for bar. Why did this happen? I put out my outfit way before him and I come out of the room and he's wearing that and it was too late. We were in a hurry. We had to leave and it, it was done. It was decided we were matching. But you know what? It is what it is. Anyways, we just did some light shopping, had a little lunchy and Mason said this shot was good. Honestly, I baked to differ. It was some mango cello. I don't know. It was very sweet, very interesting. Eh, not my favorite. Had to go wash it down with some gelato number two. Oh my God. Guys, we have to figure our shit out because our ice cream does not hit the same as what they do in Italy, okay? We got to figure it out. Also, these little pharmacias, if you guys are ever in Italy, make sure you find one of these because they have outstanding skincare for the low. I was going to buy some, but I was overwhelmed. I was overwhelmed. So we went across the street to the good old horseshoe bar again. The good old pub. We love it here. Honestly, the owner is such a slay. He's so fun. When we walked in, he was like, ciao Americanos again. Good to see you. We had to naturally end our Sorrento trip with some limoncello, which I did not enjoy. We decided to come back early tonight because we were just so fucking tired and we have such an early day tomorrow. So I'm gonna make dinner tonight. And yeah, that's a wrap for the Italy, the Italy vlog. I can't believe it. Having a glass of wine on the balcony for the last day. Ciao.